Hello, my name is Henry Enfrey, and this is a Godot 3D game development tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import your OBJ with its colors into Godot if absolutely nothing else works. That is, I'm going to show you how to import your OBJ files and import the colors manually. So, first thing that I did was I created this 3D scene. I made this scene in a program called Microsoft 3D Builder. Because I'm not really a fan of Blender, even with the new interface and everything. No, I still don't like it. So, I created my scene in this in Microsoft 3D Builder, which is a very, 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 very easy modeling program. This program is even easier than Wings 3D, and Wings 3D is easy. I didn't like this program the best. All right, so uh, anyway, I create this scene, and now I'm just going to export it into Godot. I'm going to go to save as, and make sure you export your OBJ file directly from the program into Godot. So I'm going to go to save as OBJ format. I'm giving my file the name of colorblock.obj. I'm going to click save. This is a very important file, my material library file. Make sure you save this directly into the Godot Assets folder too. And as you can see, my Godot Assets folder is called Godot OBJ Tutorial. So make, make sure everything is saved into the folder that you use for your assets. This is a material library, and this is the file that tells Godot exactly where your colors are at. So make sure you save that into the Godot folder too. Okay, so everything has exported. And, and as we can see, everything has been exported. Color blocks, OBJ, we got color blocks, material library. The same file name, right? Okay, so now we're gonna create a 3D scene. And as you can see, my model has imported it successfully because you can see my color block OBJ file in this box down here. You won't see the material library down here, but you will see the OBJ file that I exported. So now I'm gonna create a 3D scene and make sure this default node spatial is highlighted. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in this OBJ file. Okay, so there it is. It showed up. I'm going to, I'm going to just rotate a little bit. So um, transform. I'm going to rotate it to minus 90 degrees. Okay, so that's about the way I want it. Let's see. Let's go up. Let's go back up a little bit. Okay, so that's what I want. All right. Now, as you can see, my OBJ file has been brought into Godot, but it doesn't have the colors that I set on it in my file here. So, now sometimes your model will import with its colors, but if it doesn't, and if you tried everything and everything in your model still don't import with its correct colors, then you can always put your colors in manually. And this is exactly what I'm gonna do here. So to put the colors in manually, you go over to materials, and then you just uh, put them in manually. I'm gonna start with the zero, uh, spatial material. I'm gonna click on the circle. I usually like to use albedo. And Let's see, the first color was uh, orange, right? So orange, try to get it as orange as possible. And then, yeah, hey, put it in manually. Okay, so that's the first color. Now I'm gonna go click on block again to go back to this section here. And then I'll go to number one. Because remember in computer programming, computers you start out with zero first instead of one. Instead of counting uh, one, two, three, four, five, computers starts out with zero, one, two, three, four, five. So now I'm going to go to one, space materials, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Albedo, and then I think the other color is yellow. So, okay, so, I, so now I got my yellow color. Click on the block again, and go to number two. Spatial, circle, albedo, red. Okay, so now I got all my colors back. And like I said, that's just another way that you can import your OBJ files with its colors if nothing else works. I mean, this method might take a while and it might take a long time to do sometimes, but it's just another way of doing everything. Till next time.
Thanks. Bye. Yeah.